Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays The Bard's Tale Trilogy Remastered. I'm your host Lord Fenton and today's video we're going to go through uh, Dragoth's Tower 1 through 4. Let's talk about a giant update today. First of all I discovered the uh, No Spin Ring. It's in the Grey Crypts level 1. I did was I tap all these stack spawn spots. Of course by save scumming and abusing and stuff. So that's the first item I put on my Paladin since she's the leader of the group. She can floor to lose one or two AC points. I'll have to give her a uh, better AC item so in the future. See? That's the new treasure I got for her. Right there. The no spin ring. Isn't that awesome or what? You can now bypass spinner floors. Next up, I changed uh, Fenton's items because his AC was lacking. I gave him the Spectra Snare because of 9 AC, nice shield ring. And I give him Amantite Bracers. Yeah, he's all good to go. So let's check out the next person, Stevie. I gave Stevie a basic travel helm. I do not know what that is, but still, good times. I think I gave Stevie Amantite Bracers too. I'm not certain. And I got one more uh, Molten uh, Instrument. I need to get more though in the future. Because I've been using uh, the Mandarin a lot. Uh, same thing for... Rogue same. Same for this guy. And Lena got another Angar's Eye from Grey Crypts level 1. Again, I tapped the spot. I also tapped Thor's Hammer in uh, Grey Crypts level 1. Good strategy is here. Fight the easy ones, non living dead, since they uh, possess. So now we're going to go into the town of Philippi, or Philippi to uh, get in Dragos Tower. You're going to need the Master Key. If you didn't buy the Master Key from the tombs, go back there. Go back there now. Also, uh, try to clear out your uh, inventory space because I read that you're going to need uh, a bunch of inventory space, of course. So now everything is done and set. We're going to go into the uh, tower, I believe. Let's make sure. I'm just checking this town out real quick. Yep, there's Roscoe's. This is good, though. I mean, this is a great set of Philip High or Philippi. And you open the Master Key. You step before your Dracos Tower, there is a sign of a stroll. It looks like someone uh, might be dragged into the tower. <laughs> Holy crap! It sounds like uh, this tower uh, is forcing the town people to offer his citizens. They show him inside the gate, and then he's trying to get out, and someone from the tower grabs him and drags him in to their doom. And this is the main reason why I got the no spin ring. There's a few puzzles in there where it'll spin you. See, I hit a spinner plate, and boom, it worked. I put on the leader just to be sure in case. <laughs> Alright kids, listen up. Uh, there will be a quiz when we get to the room. Well, not really. The first thing is I'll give the answer out in the uh, description. This uh, answer will uh, unlock the stair entryway. Yes, yeah, so there's a few like that. This little spam for our teleportation traps, too. And there's a few darkness panels, but... I'm gonna be honest with you, this tower is better than uh, Mangar's Tower and uh, Kyle's Tower combined. Uh, whoever developed this back in the day probably saw people uh, wrote in uh, complaints about it and they said, okay, let's go fix the towers. And they did. I mean, the original developers did a great job. Alright, here's the answer. Burnout. You will have to face on. That's the first answer, folks. Burnout. So... If you put fade away, I think you die, probably so. Yeah. Let's go kill this burner. I will try not to fight, but if I get stuck to fight, I'll tell everybody what kind of drops there is. So, yeah. I'm going to avoid fighting in these, in these videos unless it's a boss or an obstacle in the way or something we need to unlock for that very reason. Great news about the skull on this level, it is not glowing at all except for the room we were in, the darkness room. And by the way, get used to uh, singing a lot in this game because there's a lot more uh, silence panels. The other game, I only had to sing once or twice, but some of it was sometimes to change up for more hits and stuff against the gnomes. So it's a nice, uh, challenging breath of fresh air. So let's keep on going. Now we got the answer burnout done, killed the burner, so now we're going to find the uh, stairs. 
That's right, folks, we're going to get to the stairs. I promise you we're going to find the nice stairs. Let's see if I'm going the right way. Yep, see the spinner ahead? No, it's not affecting us. <laughs> I got tired of those spinners, folks, to be honest with you. Because last time I did it, it was annoying. Yeah, at this point in the video, I think I was one of the fight just to see what kind of drops they did. So there's bone drones and 12 uh, gnomes. Let's see what they are. So we got the bone drones from Bart's Tale 1 graphics. And let's see if we kill these guys real quick. All right, let's commence to the battle right now and see um, what's going on. All right, bones look like the ones from Bart's Tale 1. Uh, goblin, uh, the gnomes look like goblins from Bar's Tale 2, of course. Uh, one thing I wish was they had the gnomes from Bar's Tale 1, the goblins from Bar's Tale 2, but still, it's cool. Yep, this is an Amantite of dungeon. So that means one thing, one thing only, folks. If you look for Amantite, this is a great place to go here, especially the bracers, because your hunters and bards could equip them. Monks, I'm going to be honest with you, don't need any armor. That's great. Also, I think your casters can equip them. I am not 100% certain. As for your paladin warrior, guess what? Nope. That got better. Diamond. And here's the thing. We're going to look for this teleport to level 5. I'll quickly go over the uh, UI. They did a great job again. Now they have a skull on top there. That means if you run into a darkness room, anti-magic, or a spinner, it'll tell you when you hover your mouse over. I did that as a test. Pretty cool. I'll do that when I get to the uh, Death Snare. And look, we are, look like we're close by. Yep. Let's see here. Where are we at? Besides the monks I'm going to run away from. And the booty trolls. That's what I'm calling from now on. And the um, Arnie lizards. We got teleported. You know what to do. Sky Recite. Boom. And look like we're at level 2, folks. That's right. We're going to take the stairs up since we're in towers and castles. As I said before, skulls glowing. That means, that means there's a curse, which is a darkness room. Just gives you a warning. Pretty good UI they did, uh, the developers in this game. Made a lot more improvements. It's not like uh, Dead Island where they just shut the game in and say, oh, for a definite edition, here we go. You guys enjoy. Yeah, I tried it again. A lot of bugs. Now, this game's like a paradise right here. This is how you do a remaster. Oh, I'm sorry about the little rant, but I have too much fun with this game. And we already found the stairs, but here's the thing. We're going to need to uh, do something to actually get to the stairs. If I remember right, I think you have to defeat some statues. Let's make sure. Yeah, I think this is the floor to do it. Here's the thing, though. There's a maze. And I'm going to give you all a nice tip. <laughs> Unless you're pure explorers. If you purely want to explore, bravo. You guys rule. To me, here's a tip. You get inside the maze room, and you try to get to a certain point in the room. which is close to the center. Phase door. That's right, you phase door through that. You can see me cast that a lot. I think at one point I accidentally uh, phase door somewhere, but you'll see it. This is all for entertainment. And if you like going through the, you know, I mean, dungeon and such, I just want to do it for giggles. So here we go. Yeah, they made this, uh, the dungeons more fun, more challenging than Bars Tell 1. One was good, there's some few challenges, but two, oh man, they kept on your toe, especially the death snares. But, I'm gonna keep going, trying to get to the center of the uh, room. That's the goal, you need to defeat the seven statues in order the uh, uh, upstairs to appear. Or I have access to, if you don't, yeah, guess what? You're not gonna get to the floor. That's what they did in this game. So let's try phase door, yep. Work like a charm. Ah, uh, we see more ogres. And they can say they're hobbits. <laughs> they like ogres to me from Bar's Tale 1, but can't be beggars, can't be choosers. Ouch, I did it again. 
Let's see where I face door to. <laughs> Actually, face door to the stairs. Okay, that means I just went the wrong way. Oops. There's the spinner that does not affect me anymore. I did notice my carrots did level up though, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I let them level. Keep that there for a while. I was hoping my uh, Archmage just does level up. Uh, of course, at the time, I was trying to find the center of the Tootsie Roll Pop. I mean, uh, Maze. That's another thing you kids should uh, learn. Back when the original game came out, Tootsie Roll Pops were really popular. Especially with the Owl. I always uh, advise the kids Tootsie Roll Pop every time. And that's a reference. Old reference from an old man like me, but still, it's good to know. Especially uh, when the original game came out and what we uh, kind of food or candy we liked back in the day. We're younger. So let's go find that center. Uh, the death there is not on the first three levels of the tower. That's a good hint right there. It's actually on level five, I read. And you should always love these hints. Take advantage of them. Soak it in. You never know. Let's, think. let's see here. I think that's. When you see that hint, you know where you're at. I'll explain why we gotta get there. Alright, we're facing seven statues. You need to fight all seven in order to get access to the next level. Here's the thing, we're so OP we're uh, fighting him. So, we're fighting Blockhead. Let's see here. Man Rock, Blockhead, the Block Jock Gnome. They're all gonna get defeated. Yeah, Blockhead just got killed. He gave us a dark ring. I'm gonna sell that when I get into town. Here's the thing about this level I heard you're gonna need your item space cleared at least at least seven, one for each character. So at some point in the video I might get rid of those items and uh put the low count down. You never know. Yep, yeah, magic mouth. Yeah, this is all um and manti drops and such. I'll probably see more uh Harkins Castle uh um, I say, yeah, Harkins Castle level, not Kyle's Tower, because some of that was Harkins Castle, Mangar's Tower, low levels, of course. Yep, they all got defeated, so what we're going to do is uh, appropriate arcane t near the stairs. I'm going to be a little lazy, since you have like three casters, take advantage of it. And the room was easy to find. And there's a portal up, so here we go. Now we're in level three. We are now officially at level 3. There's two goals in this level. Goal 1 is uh, use the three passwords. The answers are obviously around the level. I was a little bit lazy for you folks so I could uh, just give you all the answers there. If you want to explore this level it's pretty good. So far I love it. It's better than Mangor's Tower level 3. At least like this floor gives you a section where you regenerate your magic points. See? This one just tells you a little hint. That's probably like a hint you gotta probably guess the answer yourself. So we're gonna try to get to the um, magic mouth where it asks us a question to enter four. I was lucky at the time recording because I swooped by the uh, trap. Yeah, when you're on corners like that, you gotta be careful, especially for mini mapping. Unless you're playing legacy mode, still be careful, double careful on that. Because you never know what uh, trouble you'll find. So let's go find um, our um, magic mouth. So look like we're running away. Nope. We're facing barbarian like creatures, or I should say Vikings. I don't know what the new ones are, and we know what they are silk dragons. Yeah, the only thing in this game just got more tougher and more powerful. Oh boy. Looks like we already took out the winged creature lookalikes. The berserker slash. Viking like creatures are gone. I like that new look on them. But then again, I don't mind the no ban and uh, Berserk Lurk from one. Your, your option was very good. So let's just go uh, kill these guys. And they're breathing. Here's the thing I'm high level. You get higher level, you start resisting more stuff. 
And number two, I have a Breath Ring, which uh, nullifies uh, Dragon Damage or Breath Damage. Great if someone's doing Stone Breath, like um, Megar's uh, boss fight where the Greater Demons were Stone Breathing you. Shield Staff and Elf Cloak, that's nice. So let's go get the Magic Mouth right now. Alright, so let's go uh, figure out where we're going to get to and explore. Uh, Magic Mom Walt, uh, speaks to you saying this. Speak the three in sequence. Sequence one is Earth. That's right, folks. Earth. Sequence two is Compassed. Yep. And the last sequence is Fountain. Earth Compassed Fountain. And correct. It tells you the portal is now open. If we didn't answer and we got to the portal, it would not show up. Remember, find the magic mouth. You can't find the uh, next level of the dungeon. All right, let's go uh, get our um, level four on. Let's see where I'm at. Oh, there is right there nearby. That's very neat. So remember that when we teleport. So now we're in level four. Now here's a danger warning. We cannot teleport into the level we could teleport out and we cannot cast phase door so we we'll have to teleport to three just like Mangor's Tower and with the new uh, patch developments well the answer is already there so our goal is just to get to the stairs of five now real quick update on this part of the video I went back to town and um, off screen to level up and to offload some items because it's gonna be a straight shot from here on out from four to five so this one's going to be a straight shot to uh, the stairs, that's one goal. As I said before, you need to have less of items, I'm going to try not to fight. Five, I will fight one person and one person only, so you might access the death snare, which is Dragoth. Yes, I'm picking that option to fight him. Now this area you need to be careful because the walls close in on you on some of the levels, and you cannot face door out of it, so yeah, just be careful and follow the way I'm going because the pathways will now, from now on, will close on you. And it can lead you to a dead end and you need to appropriate arcane out back into level 3, which is a waste of time. So let's keep going here. And he detects some movement. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Okay, we're in a darkness room. There's a path that's pure darkness and spins around it. Now we got the no spin ring so we're not affected by that. If you didn't have it you got spun around that means you uh, took the wrong way. It's a very neat uh, puzzle path. If you don't have a no spin ring look at the map more and slowly go through this level. If you touch a spinner floor try get yourself uh, back into the um, level. You never know. Also another good sign is, is um, traps I think are um, either on the spinners or on the path. It depends, so avoid the spinners, find a way out. That's the answer to this floor to get to level five. And look at that, we're doing good. Yeah, I think we're getting close by. Since the stairs nearby, we're at level five. Uh, that's all the time we have for today's video. Our next video, we're going to do the Death Snare Level 5. This is Lord Fit signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, laters all.